yo and what is cracker lacker lacking guys welcome to another edition of the cordless show i'm shaney and in just a few moments you're going to be meeting the beautiful katie brand well guys listen we've got a great show lined up for you today joining us a little bit later we have the master of all shorties master shorty with his funkadelic style flow and image he's going to be singing his debut song dead end but listen we've also got a blonde bombshell for you Ellie Lawson's going to be joining us and she's going to be singing three songs Apple, Losing Myself and Freedom to Love You Let's go Say oh This is cordless, you ready? I step up my yard of a new flow Skinny jeans on and my hat's low Happiness fam, that's a new crow A clock being pretty hard, oh They say that I'm sure, but I know Look at my leg, I'm a beat a Negro Like a toast, like a lecto My lyrics are felt, so no need to use pyro My flow's tight like two bongs I roll with a man and that are too strong They low like Uton And everybody's like, yo, what's wrong? I'm about to pass, cause I've been waiting at this offer for There's a wifey drought, a clock with girl but me Just keep walking Cause I got a girl at home And she's waiting for me Composition, followed by ammunition, new edition, expedition, definition. I know you're like a letro. Hey, I know you're like a letro. You ready? I know you're like a letro. One, two, three. Don't look now. Just keep walking. Huh. Cause I got a girl at home and she. Waiting for me On and shit, my pen just Oh, better be home, rid of the bone And she going in the thicket to myself Where the fuck you getting home? Oh. No, I didn't flop like the Millennium Dome When I take it for control like a living stone Pull up in your fires, you get rid of the moan It's like, oi, my mom's at home I like you a lot, so please just stay I don't know why you wanna go away Say, oh, oh, I know I like you, but oh, no I got a wifey at home, home She can cook much better than She looks much better than Much better than you. That's why I'm thinking. Hey, just keep walking. <laughs> Master Shorty, take two. Master Shorty, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming down. I've got a few questions for you. Um, my first one is, since the age of 12, you've been writing your own music, recording your own music, promoting your own music, and creating your own image. You've been in control of this image, which I think is brilliant. How have you managed to stay so grounded, and what's kept you going all this time? Um, I suppose the people around me, 
um, my influences and the people that I look up to and admire and obviously I see them and I aspire to be similar to them and just dreaming high I suppose. And what made you decide to take the DIY route? Um, many reasons man, one obviously because I've been doing music for so long, um, you know it's just it's only right that I also study the music business and it's like, we're at a time now where what a record label does is basically it releases records but no one's buying around 99.9% .9 of people are buying online so they're not really buying records anymore so the label's job is pointless and any kind of internal people that a label may have like PR teams, distribution, distributors, um, radio pluggers, um, agents and so forth, you can employ them at separate bodies at cheaper prices and you know without a middleman means that one you're not giving away loads of your money, two you don't have to recoup in advance which is non-recoupable and then get dropped and you're in control of your releases and your styling and when you come out in your own time. Well it looks like your hard work is really paying off because uh, I've heard that the BBC have tipped you to be the next British hip hop artist of this year which makes me feel really cool sitting next to you. Um, how does that make you feel? Um, that's great man. Um, I, was, I think that was one of my main goals of two, uh, to, just the beginning of 2008 was to, by the end of 2008 um, make that list. There's like three or four lists, There's like the MTV list which I made as well. Um, the Big Issue, Enemy, there's loads of different ones, but the BBC one, the most important, because last year it was Adele, Duffy, Tintins, and everybody who's been on that list has gone on to, you know, become great, like, big successful artists, and it's like, I feel, I think I'm the first actual UK rapper that's been in the list, you know, from the urban scene, especially originally where I'm from, and it's like, maybe it's a step forward to, to um, you know, so that people can start taking urban music seriously and, you know, seeing it as pop music and as commercial, successful music that it needs to be. And is there still more that you want to achieve? To be honest, at this moment in time, I just want to make a living in music. I know that sounds stupid, but to be honest, there's lots of artists, especially where I'm from, they just come and they go, they do an album or two, and then they'll fade out, become irrelevant, or they won't connect to an audience anymore, or they'll lose a fan base. Your music is really eclectic. I mean, it, it appeals to, it's got elements of pop, rock, um, hip hop, I mean, name one. Uh, garage, everything's in there. Where would you p place your music? What genre would you place your music? I don't know, I don't really want to play some music as a genre. I think as soon as I've done that, I've boxed, and once I'm in that box, it's hard to get out, and then I start getting compared to people within that box, and then, you know, it, I, it will become negative from there. I just like, it's like my album's called ADHD, and that's because I feel that one, my music craves attention, and two, I don't want, like, it's like a, I suppose it's me being sarcastic, it's like me categorising myself like a teacher would categorise somebody else who needs attention. So, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from categorising my stuff. It's just good music, I suppose. Who do you look up to in the music industry? Um, loads of people, man. Like from people like Bjork, Prince, Tracy Chapman, Will Simon, Led Zeppelin, Outkast, Kanye, loads of different people, all from different genres, different backgrounds. How did you come up with the name Master Shorty? My Master Shorty was originally because, obviously, cause like you said at the beginning, I've been doing music since I was 12. So back then, I was the shorty. I was small, obviously. My, my peers and the people that were doing music around me were a lot older than me. So it was just kind of a nickname. They just used to call me Shorty for short. Shorty for short, uh, that's not funny. Um, and then after that, uh, as I become older, I suppose I put master in front of the shorty in order to say I'm like the master of a new generation of artists coming up. Tell me about the time that you met Travis from Gym Class Heroes. That was great, man, because to be, he was one of the first artists that was pushed out there commercially um, as a, you know, a crossover kind of um, act in the sense of hip hop and rock. and. I've been a fan for a very long time, and that was great. Um, but it was kind of overwhelming as well. Well, the whole experience of how I met him, I was actually at the um, EMAs, so I did like the whole red carpet, and I did all the interviews. As well, so I met like Kid Rock, Katy Perry, Kanye, Beyonce, Kelly, Pink. It's just the list kept going on and out of everybody you know he was very humble and he very like I didn't speak to him he actually approached me and just started making conversation maybe because he thought I was a bit you know nervous and at ease he just said yo man you look dope and I was like I'll oh, see he just started so we keep in contact like I've got his email address and hopefully when I'm in New York next or when he's finished doing his next album we can hook up and maybe do something well I'm a huge fan when can I buy your album Hopefully end of April, but to be fair, I suppose, I suppose it will probably overrun and be May, maybe even June, maybe even summer, but I've just got to make sure the time's right and there's a fan base there and the hype is there and I've got you know a great team around me and everything's in the right place. I don't want to rush, I don't regret 
because this re realistically, I can only come out of the box fresh once, and this is the one time, so I'm going to take my time with it. And when are you performing next? I've got um, wonky, we're going on a wonky pop tour, so that's going up and down the country every single day for a month. Um, no, yeah, two months actually. That's um, with Dan Black, VV Brown, a couple of other artists that made the um, BBC sound list. I'm um, doing O2 tomorrow night. Um, that's the f I think that's where the, the tour actually kicks off. Um, da -da -da -da. What other gigs am I doing? Obviously, the festivals in summer. Looking out for them. Can't wait because even though I did them last year, I was with another band. This time it's just me, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, that's it. You're done. Thank you so much for coming along. We loved your music. It was great to hear a bit about Pleasure. you. Pleasure. And I wish you all Thanks. the best for this year. You deserve it.